It's schools like LVS Ascot, costing thousands of pounds a term, that Labour have in their sights. Pupils enjoy the best facilities and class sizes of just 20, with plenty of room for individual attention. Labour say these schools should be paying more tax, VAT at 20% and full business rates. The head teacher says if fees go up, some pupils would have to leave. Why should an expensive school like this get what's effectively a tax break? It's not a tax break because parents have actually, they've already paid their taxes for state school places, so that really shouldn't they have some relief from it as well? And I think parents have a, a right and children have a right to a good education, especially those children where they need some, maybe some special needs or they have you know, a particular talent as well. So they have a right to choose their education. Schools are looking and working with tax specialists to ensure that there's minimum damage, a minimum that we pass on to our parents in the future. So you won't go down without a fight? No way. Bring it on, Mr Starmer. Michaela, whose teenage daughter goes to the school, is worried about the impact. We don't have an extravagant lifestyle. We're not out every night of the week dining out. You know, we are just what I would class as a very normal family. But, yeah, you make sacrifices that the money we, we earn goes on school fees. Labour say the policy would raise up to £1.7 billion. Private schools say the policy could raise a lot less money if significant numbers of pupils leave schools like this one and have to be educated in the state sector instead. No one knows exactly how many parents will make that choice, but it will have an impact on whether Labour's numbers add up. Labour had initially wanted to stop private schools registering as charities, but now say that's too complicated and just hiking their taxes would be quicker. Ending VAT is something that can be done quickly and that money then can go into the state se sector. The vast majority of children in this country go to state schools. We want every state school to be excellent and that's why uh, by ending the tax loopholes, the VAT and the business rates for private schools, that money can go into those state schools. Independent experts say it should raise the amounts Labour suggest. That seems like a perfectly reasonable estimate given that we've had an increase in fees of something more than a half over the last 20 years or so and no reduction whatever in the numbers going to private school, there's no particular reason to think this will have a big effect on the numbers going. Keir Starmer insists there's no U-turn and they are confident their plans will work. The Conservatives hope the whole policy will misfire with voters. Tomorrow Cohen Sky News, Berkshire.